Hey, Steve Rizzo here. And you know, I've always said that enjoyment is the spark that ignites passion, enthusiasm. Unfortunately, enjoyment is something that most people leave by the wayside, especially when they're setting out to achieve new goals and changes taking place and things, well, they're just not going the way that they want. That's when the stress level gets a little too intense, self-doubt, overwhelm, fear, anger can become very dangerous mindsets. And without ever realizing it, enjoyment becomes secondary at a time when it has to become primary. Studies have shown that when people are enjoying themselves during the process of whatever they're trying to achieve, are more creative, they're more productive, they're able to bounce back faster from life's challenges and able to find solutions to problems a lot quicker. Now, you might be asking, how do they enjoy themselves? Well, by shifting their focus and their way of thinking on what's working in their lives rather than fixating on what isn't working. By being grateful and feeling blessed for the things that life has given them rather than cursing what they claim life hasn't given them or what life is currently throwing at them. And by making daily choices to temporarily step away from those moments that are bringing them down or stressing them out and they engage in activities that lift their spirit and brings them joy. And people who consistently make the choice to enjoy themselves during the process not only reap the benefits of achieving their goal, but they have a, a, an appreciation of how they earned it. And in my view, that's the ultimate success. You know, the United States Constitution guarantees the right to the pursuit of happiness. Well, maybe, just maybe it should read life, liberty, and the happiness of the pursuit. I'm just saying.